Mission Valley awash. It happened in 1916. It happened again in the mid-1920s right after a drought. It happened once again in the 30s. Then two dams were built upstream to save water. It was only a side benefit that they held back much of the flood water that had been inundating the peaceful valley of ranches, citrus trees, and a tiny road beside the San Diego River. The damage that occurred in 1916 was really not very significant compared to what the loss would be now in Mission Valley. This kind of damage occurs very frequently. What's being done about it? Nothing. What's going to be done in the future? Not much more. That is because there has been a change of philosophy about the valley within just the last 10 years. No longer are the planners trying to beat the river with concrete. They're just trying to build around it to minimize the losses they know will occur because they know there will be floods. There are those who say that Mission Valley never should have been developed because of the river. There are those who believe that it was inevitable that it become an economic center for the city. One of them is Frank Curran, mayor from 1963 to 1971, when much of that development occurred, in his words, like Topsy. At the time when all the pressure started to build to do development in the valley, we got to remember it was cheap land. It is no longer cheap land, but it was then. And so the pressure is built up from that point. I think in the initial phases that uh, we never envisioned the concentration of activity in the valley that there presently is, at least in the river portion of the valley. As a matter of fact, if I recall correctly, uh, the bulk of the permits that were issued for the valley specifically stated that they had to stay up out of the river. But when the first shopping center was approved in 1958, its location brought the Army Corps of Engineers into the planning. When the May Company and the rest of the center was completed, the future of Mission Valley was supposed to lie in a huge concrete channel from Grantville to the sea and construction continued at an ever-increasing pace. In addition to the fact that we let them go into the valley, we did it on, on the premise that we were going to construct a, a concrete storm drain down through the, the valley from Grantville on down to Mission Bay um, to, to accommodate the runoff. However, there was a great deal of opposition by the environmentalists, by the people who owned land in the valley who wanted to build down into the area, by a lot of other people, and finally, because we drug our feet so long, the, the costs and everything else involved in it became so expensive that it, the project was ultimately abandoned. I still think it was a mistake, and I think today looking at the valley is a proof of it. The channel concept had gone so far as to get congressional approval, but the Vietnam War eliminated the construction money, and by the time the Corps of Engineers came back with talk of concrete, times had changed. Now, no channel will be built, and zoning laws have slowly changed to take that into account. But only last fall did the city council finally ban construction of any kind in the riverbed itself. This is not to say that what is here will inevitably be washed away. While some of the earlier structures do have pumps in their basements to keep back the water table, everything built in the last 10 years is above what are called 50-year flood levels, levels to which the water is likely to rise once in 50 years. Planning for floods is definitely a gamble with nature, and officials admit that. Now, left with millions of dollars in property to protect, they believe that the possible losses have to be weighed against the cost of that flood protection. Eventually, they do want to put in a system of levees to divert the river if it rises to the back doors at some of the more susceptible locations. But the cost of anything more is one that officials, at least, are not willing to pay. That is especially true when it comes to the north-south roads that connect the valley. Originally, the thought was, of course, these low crossings would be replaced by bridges when the channel was constructed. But once the decision was made to do away with the channel as a concept, the roads will be left as they exist today for some long period of time, I would suspect. The expense of each of those roads to replace them with bridges would probably be in the order of a million or more dollars. And that expenditure for the inconvenience of maybe 10 or at the most 20 days a year seems to be a very difficult thing to justify. Mission Valley is entering into another era. A new planning group has just been formed to come up with a much belated master plan. One of its first tasks is a new flood control plan. Once again, developers and environmentalists will be trying to mold suitable compromises with nature. 
because even if all the valley's other man-made problems are someday solved, it will still be a riverbed. Kathy Clark, TV8 News in Mission Valley.